Hi, so in the previous tutorial, we create our services and provide an entry in database. And in our service builder, we have a ID, this one, and which is incremented of type. So I am using a hard code value here. So let me just use this feature of auto incremented. So for this we are using counter local service util dot increment and provide the class. Let me just put this whole code inside. So let me just deploy this and see the output. So it's deploy, just refresh the page. And this is my data table. So, so look, this seventh entry, it's auto implemented. Let me just provide a uh, SOP statement. Refresh it. And see, it's incremented. So now we will see some slides regarding this. So service builder divide the source in two layers, an interface layer and an implementation layer. We never change this interface layer manually. Let me show you. So this is our interface layer. This is inside WebINF services and this is our package path which we mentioned in this. And this is our implementation files. Now we also have a meta in a folder which contain all Hibernate related things because Service Builder is based on Hibernate and Spring only. So this is our files. These are like HBM file.
now the author tag this tag is not compulsory but if you use this tag then all service docs are created by using this so let me show you one of my file so look this is the author tag this one but this is not compulsory you can remove it if you want now namespace is tag this tag is very important and this tag is mandatory if you delete this then service builder will not successfully create it let me just show you and try to build the service look namespace is compulsory so why it is used because our database has already many tables regarding services so if you want to create a same services then there is a problem and we all know that namespace is must be used for differentiate or uniquely identify so there is a table service component which create the entry of this so whenever if there is a problem like uh, when you want to change the structure of table like you want to add one more column in our this service and change is not reflect successfully then you can just delete this entry and redeploy your services or rebuild your services so name spaces must be some valid name if you are using like sample 9 then this will create a problem for you now this is auto namespace table tag so this tag by default it's false but if it is true then your table is created like namespaces sample underscore employee data So let me just show you. I change this tag to true and remove this tag table. So now let me just deploy this. and look the table sample employee so these are some case scenarios you can also check my blog for detailed information these are the descriptions of each and every tag i just want to show the three cases 
In this case, the table name is student data as I mentioned table equals to student data. In this case, table name is Aditya underscore student. I mean namespace underscore entity name because autonomous spaces tables is true. And there is a third scenario. In this case, autonomous spaces is false and there is no table tag. Then table is created with the entity name. That's it.